I was born in Louisiana. My family moved here when I was about seven years old. Got pregnant my senior year. Ended up having two babies within three years. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I need a job. <laughs> I ended up getting placed at Chase as a temp in the mail room. I was at Chase for maybe three months before I got my first promotion. Then six months after that, I got another promotion to a supervisor position. Right after Christmas, I'm home alone with my two little ones. And I'm like, what I smell? So I run downstairs to see what's happening, open the bathroom door and fire. So I run upstairs, grab my babies, run outside, call 911 while I was on the porch. The last thing I remember was seeing the Christmas tree go up in flames. For a couple of years, it was me taking temp jobs, cooking for people, babysitting, washing clothes, cleaning up for people, doing whatever it took. I got a phone call from the CARE program telling me, Shanika, we have the perfect opportunity for you. And they told me about a sutra. At Asutra, we wanted to provide good jobs for people who needed them most. So we partnered with a number of nonprofits in Chicago that help people who've been down on their luck or out of the permanent workforce get back in. So through one of those nonprofits is how I met Shanika. So I'll go to the interview with Stephanie and it's a two hour long interview, which was the best conversation I've ever had in my life. Her spirit, her experience, her willingness to frankly take a risk on a sutra and me and just be part of the team and help me build it from scratch was amazing. So Shanika was there from the beginning. We had an empty warehouse. And it's just a empty, open, 8,000 square foot warehouse. I was building racks and tables and putting it together so I feel like I birthed a sutra. A sutra is literally my baby. As I was helping her set up the warehouse and helping her getting it together, she asked me, you know what, you want to work for me? You want a job? I said to myself, well, she boss you around at home anyway. At least this way you'll get paid for it. So. <laughs> when Shanika ended up having to work from home, they left a sutra without a manager. I ended up having to take that role. I always knew that I had leadership skills and I could pull them off. I just needed the opportunity and a sutra supplied that. It was so surreal, it was like it wasn't real. I'm sitting on the stairs, he's standing, and he said, baby, this our house. People ask, well, what are you proudest of at a sutra? And of course, it's awesome that we make products that people love, that we got into Target, and that's going well. But honestly, what I'm proudest of is what Shanika and Torrance have been able to do because they've, they've taken, I think, our mission of a sutra, active self-care, take care of yourself on purpose in all ways, truly to heart. And now they're creating a whole different life trajectory and environment for their kids. It's like priceless.